Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Clever TV. I'm Jocelyn Davis, and I'm so excited to have joining us in our new studio for the first time. New studio, I love Not it. Not a stranger to the show, though. It's Denzel Whitaker. Welcome back. What's going back. on, people? Wait, hold on to the close-up. What's oh. up, people? <laughs> <laughs> you are definitely an expert. Okay, so I think it's been about a year or so since you were last here. I would say so. Yeah, you got this lovely new view. You got LA over there Thanks, and whatnot. Hollywood time. I know. It's we nice. got to keep up with the stars like yourself. Oh my I gosh, we're hard. trying. I'm running all over the place. It's been a hectic day today. What can I say? It's been a crazy year or so for you as well. I think last time you were here, you had just probably wrapped up production on mm -hmm. abduction, I'm guessing. Yeah, that's correct. It was about a month or so after. Uh huh. Yeah. And here we are, September 23rd, right? The movie is mm -hmm. hitting theaters and fans are going insane. I mean, just the build up towards the release of the trailer was oh. almost like a movie release in and of itself. Let me tell you, it was like literally on my Twitter, every like five minutes I was getting like, when's the trailer gonna come out? Tell John to release the trailer, tell Taylor to release, like, like, release okay. the trailer. I was like, sure, let me just tell the studio <laughs> to push it up. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, the fans, which I love, and I've never had this before on any film, mm -hmm. they were so excited and just anticipating every little drop we give them. And that's been great to see, you know? Like, I've done different films that have big releases, but mm -hmm. I've never had a fan base so critically attached to a project like this. It's yeah. amazing. and it totally makes sense that a lot of those Twilight fans you know, that Taylor has oh, from all the Twilight Saga movies would really come on board for your movies. What's it been like interacting with some of these people? Um, I bet it's awesome. Interacting with them is awesome. First yeah. of all, they were the greatest when we went to Pittsburgh. They were like our little tour guides, you know? Oh, that's awesome. Because I had just signed up on Twitter at the time, uh -huh. and I was like, hey, you know, what's the like, coolest places? Where should I go? I've been to Pittsburgh before, but I'd like to find like the divey or underground spots that everybody don't know about, you know? So they hit me up, and they were like, go here, go there. And it was cool because the fans were just loving it all. They were like, we were interacting with them. The fans were interacting with us. It was a like one-on-one -on -one thing. That is so cool. Yeah. And I, I know last time you were in the studio, you basically broke down that you and Taylor knew each other from mm -hmm. back in the Shark Boy, Lava Girl, Girl days. Nickelodeon. Right? Yep. Nickelodeon days. And you kind of got to reunite for this project. Um, and what's it been like since you guys wrapped the movie, kind of seeing it all come to fruition, seeing the clips? Is it bigger and better than what you could have ever anticipated? Because <laughs> it's pretty intense. I would say so. The first time I seen a couple clips was in ADR um, a couple months back, and I was just looking at it like, John, did we shoot that? You know, like, did we really do that? that and, happened? and then I was looking at the stuff that Taylor was doing, because I didn't get to see all the action stuff. I was flying in and out doing yeah. other things. And then I was like, yo, bro, this is gonna be huge for you, man. This is like gonna step your game up so much. Cause he's doing stunts off of like buildings and stuff we've just never seen him do before. He's done action stuff in Twilight, mm -hmm. but, but this not is like, like this. it's in a different realm, you know? It's, it's like a darker sort of him. It's like acrobatic. Exactly. That's what I would say. It's like parkour, you know? Nice analogy. There's a lot of parkour in it. That's actually true. Um, and you play Gilly, which Correct. I love the name, by Gilly, the way. like the Gilly suit. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, last time you were here, you kind of described your character as being involved in felonious activity. <laughs> felonious love that activity. word. Can you please tell all of our viewers what exactly that means? <laughs> to elaborate on felonious activity <laughs> is activity that's borderline, I, I, you know, it's it's kind of like right there where we're not really judgmental on it, but <laughs> middle America has experienced it one way or another, you know? I, I don't know Almost how to really put illegal, it Almost illegal, basically, or could basically. be potentially described could or be. interpreted as such. You know, the thing about Gilly is, is that he's like any other teen, really. He's finding something that he's kind of being passionate about, and he's just fulfilling it. I guess that could be the best way of putting it. Uh, closest example I've had was Back in middle school, I used to sell candy bars. Mm, okay. I used to go to like 99 cent store, load up on a grip of them. Entrepreneur. Entrepreneur myself, yeah. always been. Uh, and so I got a bag, started putting candy in it, you know, going around class, just like handing out candy, like candy bars for a dollar. I'm making 75% markup. Nice. But you know, I didn't care at the time. And yes, we weren't supposed to be soliciting chocolate on. Did you have a business license? No, I did not. <laughs> but there there, you go. there's that borderline felonious right, activity right, right, right. where I felt like I was doing nothing wrong, but at the time I was naive and I was just making a quick buck and I loved it. You know? So in the movie, I'm guessing that the felonious activity could kind of surround your relationship with Nathan, AKA Taylor Lautner's character. It definitely ties Tell us in. how Gilly fits into the plot line of the movie. Well, Gilly basically is, is Nathan's best friend since they were young, you know? Mm -hmm. They grew up together, him, um, and also Lily's character. 
character as well. We all grew up together. And when everything starts falling apart, when, when there's action involved and the agencies are coming, you know what I'm saying? It's like Taylor needs that extra help. And of course that could involve anything from the stuff I do and then him and Lily being on their own. So he comes to me actually since I have this sort of hidden talent and that's, I kind of help him out here and there. Very, very cool. Now, being mm -hmm. that you guys are friends, Lily included, did mm -hmm. you guys like have any like mixers, meet and greets before you started shooting the movie to be like, hey, uh, let's reunite and become best friends? Okay, um, <laughs> the first time I had seen Taylor again was at the audition, uh -huh. and that was great. I had seen Taylor and John at the same time. I had both known them at the same time, so that was like our mini reunion, right? And then I first met Lily at the table read. And from there, we really hit it off. Like, me and Lily started talking about New York and going, because I like to shop myself, you know? I of like course, nice clothes. stylish guy. I like look to, you know, you. look fly when I can. <laughs> so, uh, me and Lily were talking about going shopping in New York, and then Taylor was like, yo, yeah, bro, we're going to play sports. We're going to do this. Yo, do you have a PlayStation? Yes, I have a PlayStation. All right, I'm bringing that. So, literally, we were planning what we were going to do before we even got to set. And then once we got there, it was just friends hanging out. That is so cool. Oh, yeah. I love hearing <laughs> stories like that. Um, so, do you think this movie is definitely going to be like a stepping up thing for all of you guys? Because even though you've all worked a lot in the right. past, this is a different sort of film for all of you, I would say. So, is this kind of like a, a is it so. really important to you, this movie, basically? Uh, it's important to me, I know, for yeah. sure. It's my first really big budget action film, um, and I'm just really excited about that. I'm, I want to bring that to the screen more. I want to show my diversity, you know, I've done dramatic pieces, I've done comedy pieces, but I've never done something of the, on this monumental level, you know? So, I mean, for me, it's great. For Lily, I know the same thing. This is gonna be her first big budget action film besides Priest, which came out recently. And then Taylor, this is like a new darker him. So it's like uh, an evolutionary step, if you will, you know? It's very, very cool. Something new. Yeah, and I, I know that we, I, we haven't seen the movie yet. Obviously, it's not out. Right. Um, but kind of based on what I've seen on the trailer, I could totally see this becoming a franchise. Is there any possibility that mm. that could happen? I mean, what's your guess? Do tell, Denzel. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my guess would be, you know, I, I could definitely see a part two. Yeah. There's definitely, there's room that the writers actually have placed in there for expansion of this series and if it was to franchise. So I think that's their intentions. They're just really seeing what the initial yeah, release exactly. is going to do. Yeah, exactly. Because I know there have been analogies to like the Bourne films, for mm -hmm. example, which is an awesome analogy. Well, I mean, know, it's awesome a great, comparison. it's pretty spot on though. When you when you think about it, I mean, some people are like, yeah, it's, it's another Bourne movie, you know, but with Taylor Lautner, no, it's not that. It's mm -hmm. really showing just a teenage character placed in the same sort of situation. Right. We've never seen, well, I mean, we've seen it before, but it's very rare to see a teenager placed under such heavy situations, you know what I'm saying? And they actually take the realism of that and not make it something that's comical like and young. Like campy or whatever. Yeah, like, this you know, is for real We're action. not trying to be campy. This is, like, say for so a teenager actually got caught up in something like this and what would happen? Yeah, it's kind of scary, actually. I'm not going to lie. I don't want to <laughs> see my face on a milk carton. That's oh, no, not crazy. at all. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> if I had to sign on a website and knew that was not my name, I like my name. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> so what sorts of crazy things happen behind the scenes? Because I know that mm. we're going to see the action play out on the big screen, but everybody's always wondering what sort right. of silly antics were going down. Any prankster action or anything? Prankster action? Everybody asks about the pranks. I you know, know I got to say, this was a mellow cast. This was the first cast where we didn't get involved with pranks. We did though, however, it was more like, it was very athletic sort of set. Okay, cool, yeah. We played a lot of sports daily. On the weekends we were going out playing sports. It was very like involved around athleticism. You know, like Taylor, he forked out in the gym all the time. Like I'm just trying to step my game up. I'm trying to get in the gym now, you know? I know, man, like, he could be like a personal trainer. Right, no, that's what I'm saying. I was breaking a sweat every time we weren't filming, so. <laughs> it was it's one of those bad. things. It's not bad. It wasn't bad. It was it was a different experience. It was less pranks and more like just on the go. I felt like I was on the road 24-7 doing something, being active, but I also loved it too because I had just a lot of fun on set. It was like pretty much kick back every day. Like this is my job. I'm yeah. a lucky guy. Casual. Pretty sweet. What about shopping trips? Did you guys ever go shopping? <laughs> you ever take that? Special we did, we trip? did. We went shopping. Uh, we didn't go to New York. We just shopped locally. Okay. There's this place called Southside Works. Okay. Um, there's even the shop, shop 420 or shop 112, something like that. I don't know. Numbers thrown on there. Numbers. Love it. Who knows? Anyway, um, no, it's shop 
uh, 4 win 2, right? We went down there, had all the newest threads, right? And that was totally up my alley. I think I spent more time in that shop than any other shop. And they had like everything there from kicks to clothes to hats, the accessories. Styling like, your cast members. You're like, here, I, I was like, yo, look good Taylor, on you. You gotta get this. <laughs> <laughs> now, I also want to mention that this film is obviously going to be huge. But another mm -hmm. movie that is already getting so much buzz, also coming out in September, is Warrior, oh, which yeah. you also have a role in. Tell us how you fit, are fitting into that movie. Fitting into that movie, Warrior, um, I did back in 2008, actually. And here's Isn't the thing. crazy how it's 2011 and 2008? It's crazy to think that the film's it? coming yeah. up, but Gavin O'Connor, like, really, when I sat down with him, he wanted to craft the film and he wanted this to be like a monument or a testament to what he's done directorially. So, I mean, from everything, every little piece of the film, he wanted to make sure it was finalized and perfect to his liking. And that's why it really took so long, you know? Yeah, but, but it looks like it's gonna be awesome and oh, really it's intense gonna be great. based on the trailer. Like, wow. My character um, in the film, sorta, is basically our teacher, Joel Edgington. He, he sorta is coming on some hard times, you know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. he decides that he's gonna go back into underground fighting while he's still teaching. And unfortunately, they don't allow that, you know, it's not part of the school's policy. Right. Again, yeah. felonious activity. <laughs> Slightly illegal. Slightly maybe. illegal. <laughs> So, uh, he comes out on some hard times and it's really like we're his support base back at home. You know, it's like the fans for our abduction movie, we were there helping him along the way like, no, you can do this, teach, and, and we were there supporting him 24-7 and it's, it's really that inspirational drive that I think sort of helped him out. Right, so what do you think about all this like new kind of action-driven stuff that you've been doing. How does it compare to what you've already done? Do you just love it? Is it like I love your it. new love, kind of? It's it's a new experience, you know? Like, every time I step on a set, it's a different experience, of course. You're working with different people, you're working in a new realm. Um, and now with action, everything's fast-paced, you know? We work under tighter budgets, uh, much larger budgets, so everything's like really fast. Um, the technicalities are a little different. You don't have the time allotted like on a drama where everything's a little bit more casual, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's a little bit more softer and, and you get more intimate with the actors, you know? It's it's definitely different, high energy, I'd say. Yeah, and you've already worked with some of Hollywood's biggest names, so my last question is gonna be, who are you gonna work with next? Who is your dream person to work with? Because, um, I mean, your resume list, the people you've worked with, I'm not even gonna tell you guys because <laughs> it is so long and impressive. Oh, thank you. Who are you dying to work with? I Put really, it out there. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, George Clooney, if you hear me, <laughs> hit me up. Um, I definitely want to work with also um, Jason Statham, just because we're talking about wow. action films. That dude kicks ass, literally. I know, literally. The action films. Feels like he could hurt someone for real. Um, let's see who else. I want to work with Mila Kunis, because mm -hmm. she's like the hottest young little actress, cute at that too. So <laughs> have me on set. You heard me. Um, <laughs> Or and we can just chat. You can just or we chat can just chat. That's we funny. don't have to necessarily work, <laughs> but why not? Uh, let's see. Those are three actors I really want to work with right now, actors and actress. I mean, it expands from there. I just like surrounding you. It's good talent, you know? You expand your capabilities and you learn something new. It's kind of like keep working with good talent. Very cool. Mm -hmm. A man wise beyond his years. <laughs> I feel like I learned from you when you come in here. Thanks Thank for you. coming by. Of course. Awesome. Thanks. And congrats. Seriously, Love the new too. office. Thank you. Come back anytime. Oh, We're here every day. <laughs> well, thanks again for coming by, filling us in on Warrior and Abduction. Mm -hmm. And all of you guys out there watching, make sure to stick with Clever TV for all the latest on these two upcoming releases. We're going to keep you posted on everything. I'm Jocelyn Davis with Denzel Wedeker, and we'll see you guys later. Take care. Bye, guys.